Hey everybody, wanted to do a little update on this Ford 41 Woody. Now, since I'm just doing an update, you get the messy background. <laughs> Didn't feel like doing a nice setup. But this kit's going together really well. It has tons of detail in the mold. Um, if AMT and Ertl would have done this to all their kits, uh, they would have really changed the game I think it, it probably was just a bad time for model kits for sales back then so probably no matter what they did the, the path was going to be the same but this is where I'm at now I still have to paint the black so I haven't done any washes on any of this so I still have to do you know all the washes but just to give an idea the one really cool thing about this kit is is you don't have to glue the body down at least so far you can keep it separate so there would be a body piece and then there would be an interior piece I have to repaint a little bit do a little touch up on that black been handling it a little too much so your windows will actually glue into that piece there. To give a little bit of a view of the interior. Now these seats I did with uh, the washi tape. So, I took the tape, put it on foil, then glued the foil on there, mosh podged quite a few coats. So the back is just a rubber mat, so that's just flat black, back at the body color all the way around. Now up front, I did some flocking. I have to say that turned out really cool. So I left the mat alone. So that way it looks like a vinyl mat right there. Get the back floor there done. Got a little bit of details on the dash, not a lot, but on the sides, try to get all the bolts over all the locks and hinges and brackets. I did that on both sides. Did a wash. A lot of these woodies, they'll redo the body and paint and all that, but they want to keep that wood original. So I kind of made it look a little aged. So one of my favorite things about this kit so far is the uh, separate chassis. So you can actually paint it and detail it quite a, quite well. And then this one actually has the holes in it, just like the original. Now, when I ran these exhaust pipes through, I glued everything together and then ran the exhaust pipes through. Now, what I did was, in the area, let me grab a pointer, in this area right in here, I glued that down. So I glued about to here. These sections here are not glued, so that way I can put my tweezers in there, spread it, while I'll put that pipe through. So those weren't glued. But I started gluing here, so center hub, Right there, that's all glued, so on both sides, I didn't glue there, but I did glue up in here, and up in here, so that way I can just open it up a little bit. And I used the Tamiya glue, so that way it's a good bond. Um, 
up front you can see it passes through again right here so this section here all the way up it stops right there that's all glued so this one and this one just a couple of them are not that way I can open it up a little bit and get that through I mean it was a little little tight but it's very easily done so if you guys do this kit uh, that's a good little tip I was afraid when gluing this section down I would not get a good enough bond and it wouldn't look good this way I got to paint it all at once hide all that so I kept the box kit uh, exhaust this is all box stock except for you know the flocking so there's that for the glue I use for the flocking I use Mosh Posh mat put it down uh, put a coat of flocking down knocked it off what's loose and then this here is just watered down Mosh Posh I just dab that on top just lightly uh, get the whole surface to a medium wetness of it so it was, and then I sprinkle a little bit more uh, flocking down on it duck the extra off let that cure overnight come back and did it again I did that three to four times it wasn't too bad but the last time it just I don't know how well the cameras are really going to show it but it went down perfect and the back went down perfect a lot of people were suggesting using paint that that method does work really good too uh, I just have more Maj Podge than paint so I figured I'd share that, that that method does work as well so let me put that aside here is the motor so far so what I did how I got that you know the raised areas looking like silver like the uh, flatheads that are out there I painted the whole thing that red and then took acrylic silver which is that the full cart brand and use the real stiff brush and just brushed over it doing a dry brush so you take most of the paint off of the brush onto a paper towel and just brush over it and it should leave the paint just in them high spots but I think that turned out pretty good it would have been pretty hard to do without dry brushing but and then I got the air intake there's fuel rail I'm painting up the carbs or the air intakes I think it's the carbs that are on there they look like carbs to me so these will end up going on this I'll paint the air filters they look like K&N's so kind of some kind of burgundy red with some silver so there's that And then I bought, um, I think it's Phoenix Toys or something like that. They have 124 scale uh, parts. And this is in the camping kit. I put a gray wash. So I put a gray wash on the, uh, the lid to give it a little bit of a uh, look. I might do a little bit of dry brush on there, but the caps actually come off. So I am going to put that in case of some Corona light. I made that box in a past video. And then this is just the Amazon box. I'm going to put that in there. 
and then I made these out of paper towel to be kind of like a beach towel so I got two of them so then we're all going to go in the trunk or the back section since this is going to be a surfing wagon I have to figure out what color will look the best for the uh, surfboard I'm not going to put the surfboard on the roof or anything, but I'm going to probably put it next to it, display it with it. Um, one last thing. So I've been messing with that resin. I think after I run out of this stuff, I'm done. Because it wants to fight me to no end. All the results are hit and miss. So these are the wheels copycat off of Foose wheels. The wheels look fine. You know, once I paint it they'll look fine. I can't get the stud which is no problem. I'll just epoxy a stud on there. And um, I got these brakes. put the brakes on there so and then I made these tires they look all right these are from the foos kit as well they're really soft that black dye really softens that so if I was gonna buy more I would buy um, uh, a heavier shore rating on it. Right there, you guys seen there's a couple holes in it. I don't know if it's from me messing with it, but the tread looks great. There's no writing on it, and actually, on the inside, I'll flip these over. It did so well, I actually picked up the mold number. But when I go and try to fit these on, one of them shrunk. It's probably the rim. But, as you can see, if you put a little bit of weight on it, it just looks sloppy. And they don't really want to stay on, so just a little bit of shifting around, so it just comes off. So that does that. But I wanted to put these on this kit. And I think they look really cool on that. I modified the mold to get rid of this inner ring. So that it will be solid. And then on this I'll just have to clip this, this off. And then just super glue it or so. Epoxy it. So that's my attempt to fix that. Uh, but here I made a... Made me a, a Mickey Thompson tire. It looks great. It's you know it's nice and strong too. But I got some bad bad areas on around where it says Mickey Tom's and on the front side and the side that you want look good. So when I molded this, I should have made the deeper side where the letters are, and then I could have made that you know had it opposite. I should have had that on the other side. Because that side looks great. So I'm hoping that will work for that. So if I take that and hold that up, that's about how it would look. I think that would look really cool. Paints 
just a little soft still. I gotta really hope that I don't take too much off by touching it. So, until next time guys, I hope you have a great one. See ya. Bye.